what a beautiful day. I was just driving along and listening to some interesting content from one of the many people that influenced my mind around business and marketing. And I realized that actually, I'm in the business of marketing freedom. I don't mean marketing freedom as a concept where we're all free in general. I mean, I'm in the business of bringing marketing liberation and freedom to business owners. One of the biggest problems and points of pain that I hear that business owners suffer from is that they cannot seem to get enough of a grasp of what marketing is, how to make it work, why it isn't working, what is working, the latest trends, all of the things that bother them. They don't understand the connectivity into the sales pipeline. They don't understand why sales aren't as effective as they can be. They don't understand why their business goes off a cliff when it goes off a cliff, when pipeline dries up, when sales seems to stagnate. They don't understand why no one's talking about them. They don't understand why, despite being one of the first in the space, despite being the best in the space, despite being absolutely awesome at what they do, they just don't seem to understand when no one's talking about them, why the phone isn't ringing, why it isn't working, and why the business feels under threat as a result. And that's where I come in, because when a business owner has spent a little bit of time with me, what they generally feel is marketing freedom. They feel free from the constraints and fears that they normally suffer because of marketing, because they don't understand what messaging is, because they don't understand what a strategy looks like, because they don't really have an understanding of what a marketing plan looks like and how it can be relevant and totally you know, designed for their business to be able to deliver it. Not some wildly, excruciatingly irrelevant plan, but a completely relevant plan. Something that they and their team have built to deliver with the resources they have. You know, putting out the messaging that they've crafted themselves because they understand now what their business is about. They understand who they're helping. They understand what that person cares about. And they've taken that messaging and they've turned it into a fantastic strategy and a fantastic marketing plan. And they understand the difference between the channels and they understand the difference that reporting and analytics makes. And they totally have a sense of calm around saying no to other people on the phone, other agencies, other providers, people trying to sell them something because it's not in the plan, because it's not in the strategy. And it's not speaking to the right audience to the message that matters to them. And that sense of calm and freedom from the pains of marketing that most business leaders go through is I think the thing that makes me the happiest. When I've generally worked with a client, most of the time, I'm not perfect, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's 100%, but most of the time, the vast majority of the time, marketeers emerge from the room, having gone in as business leaders. Now. That doesn't mean they're expert marketers. It doesn't mean they've done it for 20 years. I've done it for 20 years. That doesn't mean they've earned all of the campaign medals. It doesn't mean they've made every mistake. It doesn't mean they've learned every lesson. Far from it, because like anything in life, it's a journey. But they're marketers in the way that they suddenly start to think around brand story, around target, around message, around channel, around calls to action around reporting around all the things that actually are going to turn marketing into something meaningful that they can sit on top of and be in charge of they can then determine whether they deploy extra budget and resources to marketing what's working and what isn't it may be that that business leader spends one hour a week one effective hour a week it may be they spend 15 minutes a week it could be they spend a day a week it really depends on where they are in the business and what they need to achieve and what they want marketing to do for them but let me bring you back to the beginning what they have experienced at that point is a liberation from the absolute anguish and anxiety of not understanding marketing what they end up with is marketing freedom what they end up with is a sense of control and a state of calm that they're on it that they know what's going on and that they know how they can impact on their future using the tool set that marketing gives them
and it feels great to be someone that helps business leaders sleep a little easier at night and get a little better at marketing. How free do you feel with your marketing? I'd love to know.